It ain't for everybody. Uh, Welcome to Hollywood, to baby. Get you. Uh huh. Coming with? Let's not even talk about it. Let's do it. Let's go. Uh huh. I see your jealousy as you watch me. I see you watching me, baby. You watch me. So good. It's kind of sexy. I love it. How you watching? Uh huh. You watching? Come on. I see your face. I see your face. You wanna touch it? You wanna touch it? To the crib. Let's, Let's chop it up. Tonight you're, Tonight you're gonna be a superstar, a superstar. baby. Uh, 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 Let's get into it. You're blinded by the action. You need that. Good morning, Grayson. Welcome to Ram TV. I'm David. And I'm Allison. We hope you're having a great week so far. Students, don't forget to mark your calendars for February 11th from 6.30 to 8. Come learn about all the AP courses Grayson has to offer. You will also get to ask teachers about these classes and find out more information on them. Also, coming up next week on the 7th from 6.30 to 8 is the Grayson Tech Open House. Come out and experience the exciting classes offered here in Grayson Tech. Bring your friends and family to see live demonstrations and find out what opportunities are available. Also on February 7th, there's a dual enrollment meeting. If you're interested in attending a Georgia college during your junior or senior year, we highly encourage you to go to this meeting to learn more about the program. In other news, the mock trial competition is February 9th, and all practices are mandatory. Check your email for important details. And attention seniors, GGC will be waiving their application free from February 1st until February 3rd. Are you interested in journalism? The GHS newspaper and yearbook staffs are currently accepting applications for the 2013-2014 school year. If you're interested, see Ms. Crawford or Ms. Stevens in B1.557. Now let's get a commercial break. Are you hungry? And are you thirsty? We have it all in vending machines. From chips and candy to water and Sprite. Hey, I'm Copper from Music Pro. I'm Justin from Tech Talk. And I'm Baruch from Ramflix. And, and these, these are, are your random facts of the week. Yeah. Hey guys, did you know that a shrimp's heart is in its head? So when you're actually eating the shrimp, you're more than likely eating its heart first? I know that's crazy. Did you know that astronauts are not allowed to eat beans before they go into space? Why? Why? Because if they pass gas in the suit, it would damage it. <laughs> so for all you future astronauts out there, stay away from the beans. And did y'all know that by raising your legs slowly and lying on your back, you can't sink into quicksand? So now you know call for what to do while someone is out being help from you, you know, quicksand. I've never been in quicksand. Right. Is there even quicksand sure? in Georgia? That's right in fact, I guess. Yep. yep. All right, guys. Bye. Shout out to Beats Pro. And Grand Flix. Tech Talk all day. Uh, Bye, dude. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Talk Sports. I'm China. And I'm Landon. It's about that time for some new sports. Like soccer. Lacrosse. Baseball. Take a look at what Jack and Austin had to say about baseball. Hi guys, I'm China, and we're here with Jack Banda. What's up guys, I'm with Austin Meadows. Tell us how long you've been playing baseball. I've been playing baseball for 14 years. What's your position? Play pitcher at first. How's baseball trials been going? They're going good. You know, I've just been looking forward to getting back into it right start the season up. How fast can you throw a fastball? I throw about 92 miles an hour. That fast? That fast. Oh my god. So what position do you play? I play outfield in the hole. I play center field. Outfield? How have tryouts been going? We've been going great. We're pretty good this year. Alright, so are you ready for the season? Yeah, we should have a good season. So what's your number? I'm number 16. 16? And, he, and he's already committed to where? Clemson. Clemson, ladies. Clemson. Alright guys, that's it. We hope you all are excited for the upcoming season. There will be an informational meeting for all girls interested in trying out for a Grayson Golden Rams competition squad. It's on February 7th in the Media Center at 7 p.m. Come out to the away game tonight against Brookwood. And tomorrow against Shiloh. It's a home game, so make sure you're here. That's it for today. I'm China, And I'm Landon. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.
stepped on your brand new chucks, I would hit him for that. I would hit him. Man, I'm not even. That's what you get. Fight. Oh my god! Oh my gosh. Gosh. Are you okay? What? Who did, did you do this? Are you? Are you? Yo, VIP. Hey Grayson, I'm Sydney and I'm Diva in for Davy Day and welcome back to Entertainment Weekly. This week we'll be talking to you all about the inauguration. Did you watch it? Yeah, President Obama and First Lady Michelle Obama looked beautiful as our okay. president was sworn into office for the second time. First Lady sported a different look when she walked out in her new bar bangs. It was definitely a new refreshing look for the lady. I agree. She looked amazing. Well, unlike previous inaugurations, this year's was a little different. Performers such as Beyonce Knowles and Kelly Clarkson and James Taylor rocked the stage as they performed for President Obama and Vice President Biden. It was wonderful. Earlier this week, you went into Grayson to see what the students thought about the event. I Here did. are the reactions. What did you think about the inauguration? Um, it was nice. There were a lot of great performances. Mm -hmm. And um, everything was well put together. Who was like, your favorite? Beyonce. Obviously. Yeah, but I heard some some rumors that she might have lip-sang it. Ooh. It was on the news this morning. Yeah. I, was, I don't know, she's awesome. Yeah, she is, she is. So I think she was really good. Well, but yeah, everything was well put together. Yeah, it was good. What's your favorite performer at the inauguration? Beyonce. You liked her? Yeah. All right, thank but, you. But um, I thought she was lip-singing. Everyone said that. I don't yeah. think she was. I don't know. All right, well, thank you. What did you think about the inauguration? Um, I thought it was great. It was really fun to watch because they had wonderful performances of music and the singing was. Thank you. What did you like the best about the inauguration? Um, I liked um, the performers a whole lot. Um, I think they brought a whole lot of flair to the inauguration because it's normally such a formal occasion. And I think that my favorite was Kelly Clarkson. I mean, big up to Beyonce, but Kelly Clarkson, she really like killed that song. And I thought she did a great job. Well, it seems as though you all enjoyed it. It was definitely an inauguration to remember. I agree, Sydney. Well, that's it for your Entertainment Weekly. Make sure you tune in next week. Welcome back to Ramtastic Fashion. I'm Erica and this is Susan Sosa. Whoa, you finally got it right. Yeah. Today we'll be looking into the most highly anticipated event in the fashion world. New York Fashion Week is sponsored exclusively by Mercedes-Benz. Starting February 7th and lasting all the way up to the 14th, there will be numerous fashion designers from Michael Kors and Ralph Lauren, Tommy Hilfiger and Calvin Klein, and Project Runway will make a special appearance. Let's take a quick look at a video of what's to come. I don't know about you, but I'm excited for Fashion Week. I'm just excited to see all the cool cars made by Mercedes Benz. She's a, it's Fashion Week, not a car show. But it's called Mercedes Benz Fashion Week? Yeah, but that just means, you know what, never mind. But, well, there will also be Fashion Week in London, Milan, Paris, and for the first time, Russia. So make sure to watch Fashion Week live online on Thursday at FashionWeekOnline.com. And tune in next week for another edition of Our Casting Fashion. Have a great day, Grayson. See ya.
say fresh You think your world is safe? It is an illusion. A comforting lie told to protect you. Enjoy these final moments of peace. For I have returned to have my vengeance. Since Baruch is at it this week, handling some other business, we thought it'd be nice to invite our old friend Speckles. Hi. Now, Speckles, what do you think about the new Star Trek film? Well, Chris, first off, I have to say that the first Star Trek film was probably one of my favorite films of all time. You know, you had a, a stuff smart storyline, a beautiful cast. I mean, J.J. Abrams is probably one of the few guys that could actually bring an old franchise and then bring it back and turn it to something fresh. You know, I agree. And uh, something else I noticed. Yeah, hold on. I, 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 the thing is, uh, you can't argue with a guy like J.J. Abrams. I mean, he's one of the few directors that actually knows exactly what he's doing. I know, but, uh, oh, did you hear and about... No, listen, uh, you forgot... See, here's the thing, J.J. Abrams was also hired by Disney to direct the new Star Wars movie, which comes out in 2015, guys. So it's like, that's the perfect guy to bring back uh, the franchise. I mean, he's the best guy for Star Wars, you know? I mean, like, Speckles. now he's got to do Star Wars Spe and now Speckles. Star Trek, Spe and then what? That is rude to interrupt a guy while he's talking, Chris, especially an old friend of yours. You know what? My time is not um, appreciated by you. I think I'll just leave. Is that okay with you? What? what? Yeah, have a good one, Chris. What? Okay, well, I'm Chris, and I was Speckles. This has been Ramflix. Is there anything you would not do for your family? Hey guys, it's Jenny. And it's Davina. Welcome back to Music Probe. Since today is the first Friday of Black History Month, we'll be doing Harry Belafonte today. Cool. But before that, let's go to Coffer with Guess That Song. All right, it's Coffer here on Guess That Song. I want my contestant. Sapolucci. TJ. That's a, that's a beautiful name. <laughs> okay, so you know the rules? I'm reading the lyric. You got to guess the song. You got it? All right. Guess I wasn't feasible, but we ain't got to be beefing, though. I miss you at my recent show. Who said that? Um, dang. Um, I don't know. I was a rapper. I guess I'll get us um, Meek Mills. Me Close. It's in the MMG Camp Wale breakup song. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ready for the next one? Okay. You're such a hard act for me to follow. Love me today. Don't leave me tomorrow. Who said that? <laughs> I don't know. You, you sure you don't have any type of guess? Um, you can tell me what. I don't know what they're signed to. Um, I don't know what they're signed to. Um, if you read this to me, I would have guessed Ying Yang Twins. Who who do you guess? Um, I don't know. I have no guess. Not me, Mills, is it? Nah, everyone's just saying Meek Mills. It's Maroon 5. Maroon 5, love somebody. You're such a hard act for me to follow. Love me today, don't leave me tomorrow. I would have guessed Drake. Thanks for participating, though. I wonder if they'll ever get it right, but Davina, what do you know about Harry? Harold Belafonte Jr., born March 1st, 1927, is an American singer-songwriter, actor, and social activist. He was dubbed King of Calypso for popularizing Caribbean musical style with an international audience in the 1950s. Belafonte is perhaps best known for singing the Banana Boat Song with its signature lyric, Deo. Throughout his career, he has been an advocate for civil rights and humanitarian causes. He was a vocal critic of the policies of George W. Bush administration. So here are some of his work. Foot, seven foot, eight foot, punch! Daylight come and we want go home. Day is a day, oh. Daylight come. 
Sinora. Work it all the time. Sinora dances Calypso. Left to right is the tempo. And when she gets the sensation. So that's the end of Music Probe. Bye, Grayson. Bye, Grayson. And don't forget to hashtag us. Uh, this week we went around Grayson and asked a few people what they thought about violent video games and if they have a correlation to violence and people. And let's pitch that right now. Let's go. Alright, so what's your opinion of this whole violent video game space? Do you think it causes violence in its players? What do you think? Uh, I do think there is a, you know, a pretty big difference between holding a, a controller playing a game as opposed to holding a real weapon. At the same time, though, I mean, I understand those games, they're enjoyable, they're a form of release, but uh, I think they can cause underlying, uh, you know, side effects, probably not on a, on a big scale, but I, I would be surprised if there weren't, you know, any, any correlation between the two. I know that the uh, gaming industry tries to regulate that somewhat by assigning games like M ratings, you know, various age restrictions, but, you know, I'm not sure if we need to uh, really change it and do more harm than good. All right, we're going to show you a couple pictures of video games. We want, us, we want you to tell us how that video game makes you feel, if it makes you violent or not. Show the first one? No. 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 You sure? No. I'm you pretty play, sure you, you play Call of Duty? Yeah. Yeah, how many people you kill? Yeah, a lot. All right, how about in real life? Nah, no. no. Oh, I'm proud of you. Yeah. All right, so how many people do you feel like you could kill with this game? None. None? You sure? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Alright, good job. Yeah, you sure? Ponies make me not a silo, you sure? Alright, I'm here with Grayson, the psychology teacher, here to ask her a couple questions about violence in video games. Now, do you think that there's a correlation between violence in games and violence in life? Um, I actually do, in terms that the studies that have been done and that I've looked up actually don't look at video games, but they do look at violence on television and violence in children, especially violence in cartoons, and there is a big correlation. Um, they're saying about 70% correlation between the, the television shows that kids watch and how they act and react in real life. So I would take that television um, area and apply that to the video games. Um, but to be honest, in real life, I don't know if it's the violence that um, in the video games that's making children act violent that I worry about as much as it makes it so that they really don't care about violence as much. They just become immune to it. And that's where I have a problem with violent video games. I can definitely agree with that. I see it's uh, being desensitized a bit. And um, do you think that's the only thing that may be causing some sort of uh, violence in people? Definitely not. Um, violence is coming from the home, in most cases the environment, the friends that you're keeping. Um, I think it is in addition to maybe some of the video games, but once again I think that desensitization is what's really a big focus that we need to look at as a society. Okay, right, thank you for your time. You're welcome. And that was your Geek Minute. We'll see you next week. Thanks. Do you feel like you could kill with this game? None. 
<laughs> Done? You sure? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Alright, good job. Alright, I'm here with Grayson, the psychology teacher, here to ask her a couple questions about violence in video games. Now, do you think that there's a correlation between violence in games and violence in life? Um, I actually do, in terms that the studies that have been... Searching for the right, but it keeps avoiding me Sorrow in my soul, cause it seems that wrong Really loves my company He's more than a man, and this is more than love The reason that the sky is blue The clouds are rolling in, because I'm gone again And to him I just can't be true And I know that he knows I'm unfaithful And it kills him And we're from Tasted Gonet. And I officially quit Tech Talk because I want to follow my dreams into critiquing food. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so it looks like I'm going to have the pork chops and... I'm going to have the meatloaf. Alright, let's go order our food. Okay. Oh, wow, that looks amazing. Oh my god. Who got the meatloaf? You got the meatloaf. Here you go. Wow. Oh my god. And you've got the pork chop. Yep. And I will be right back with y'all. Alright, thank, thank you. you. Ready to eat, dude? Yeah, I'm ready to eat. Alright, let's dig in. I was born for this moment. I know, right? I'm hungry. Yeah, this looks so good. Mmm. Wow. Let me try some mm. of my pork chop. Perfect. Mm. And the corn. The corn is so good. Is it squash? Yeah, it's squash. It sounds nasty, but it really is good. This is amazing. Mm. It really is good. Mm. So, okay, here is your bread. Wow. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm. And for you today, I have a strawberry. Strawberry. Oh, oh strawberry. Wow. For you. This looks delicious. And for you, I have a Oh wow, I love coconut. Thank you. We all enjoy it. Thank you so much. Come back and see us again. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. Duke, I think I want the coconut. You want to switch? Fine. Thank you. I really like the coconut though, but I'll try the strawberry. All right. So let's taste it. Let's taste it. Mmm, it's really good. Mmm. Mm. It's Duke. so good. How's the strawberry taste? Is it, is it sweet? It's really sweet and it's really good. Oh my god. But it's not too sweet, so I yeah. think it's really nice. It's perfect, just it's right. perfect, yeah. Mm. Oh, it's really good. Yeah, this is really good. That cake, mmm, so good Oh too. my gosh, the texture of the cake, and it was so moist. It was just so yeah, good. You, we moist. ate all of the strawberry cake out, too. That was so good. Yeah, yeah that strawberry the, is really good, too. Mm. The gravy on that meatloaf, too. Yeah. 
I, I'm, I'm still eating it. And <laughs> it's nothing in even there, dude. No, what are you so eating? <laughs> All right, guys, that was the end of Tasted Gwinnett. And you should come out tomorrow because they're only open for lunch, breakfast and lunch. So come out tomorrow for breakfast or lunch and you'll enjoy it. We did. It's right in downtown Grayson, across from Walgreens. So make sure to check it out. There's food in my mouth, but you it's guys really should check good. it out. You would enjoy it. Hey Grayson, I'm Jenny and this is your weekend forecast. So let me just start off by saying the weather has been crazy lately. However, today's high will be in the 30s and the low will be in the 20s. On Saturday and Sunday, the high will be in the 50s and the low will be in the 30s. I hope you guys enjoy your weekend. Bye. Why would I do that? Because I asked you to. I don't have to. I'm a senior. Yes, you do have to, and you don't need to be with these You just earned yourself a red card. My gosh! I have crossed the river. We keep choosing to draw lines. And Yeah, 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 gold all in my chain, gold all in my ring, gold all in my watch, don't believe me, just 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 watch, gold all in my chain, Gold all in my ring Gold all in my watch Don't believe me, just watch